Hey YouTube and eBay customers, uh, it's your boy Rocket Ross here again. Um, today I'm just going to be doing another tutorial and it's basically showing the importance of um, using levels and custom curves in Sony Vegas. Um, so first of all, this is the first patch just for the people with the V-Box. Um, I'm not sure what settings you have, you can change it to this, this is my uh, standard setting. So first of all, it's got a video format. You must do this every time you open up the uh, V-Box. And just make sure your quality is on one, click apply and click OK. The next part which um, people asking me how come I've got such good colour in the preview box here is if you just click on this button again and go to video settings and then go to video pro camp um, I've touched this uh, sharpness up to 3 and I've put the saturation up and adjusted some of these other ones here so if you want to just um, set your starter that's fine and then click OK. Um, then going into Vegas um, I have done a tutorial showing these effects like the levels and the color curves and some people are saying well you know are they important can you make a video showing you know the difference what it actually looks like uh, before and after uh, so that's what I'm going to be doing today um, just in case you haven't seen my previous video I'll try to put a link on it or it's definitely in my channel and um, depending what map it's on uh, whether it's a really dark or a light map you know you can play around with the settings I've got two custom settings for levels, where is it, one down um, I've got um, just one called custom HQ and then one called custom HQ2 brighter um, I'll just drag it and drop it on here just to this is the brighter one so if you just wanna you know pause it or take these stats down this is for dark maps like Skid Row um, Carnival you know ones like that um, I'll just close that one down and then for brighter maps like favela and overgrown afghan especially afghan is one of these settings here so they're slightly different so you can set the two custom ones to type custom hq up there and click save and you've got those two presets now and again you can just adjust them to depending on what map it is and obviously the color curves probably watch my previous tutorial but obviously adding that on you know you can bend the lines to wherever you want on here and just try to get a uh, so yeah, um, I can't really do it on this video because I've already got some set up. But yeah, basically pull that one up here to go brighter, pull that one down here to go darker, and just you know set it to what you think's best for the particular map you're working on. Um, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you the before, before and after effects um, using the levels. Um, I think the levels and color curves, you can either use one or the other, or you can use them combined together obviously it's just altering the settings you know to get the best picture um, during this video I'm going to pause it in certain places and you can really see the difference uh, I think I'm just using a clip on Carnival here um, it's just a random clip that I got um, just trying to show you the, the how it brings the cores out and brings the depth out so I'll show it now and then obviously you can see the difference and just leave comments saying you know if you've got any other effects or if anything you want me to you know make a tutorial on uh, that'd be great um, so let's let the video run and see what you think cheers guys